I'm kind of like torn in between. I don't know really how I want to continue with this because it seems like people just want to see like happy Selena. I don't think I should vlog right now. <sighs> Hi! This is so weird. I haven't turned this camera on in... Um, Actually, I don't even know when I turned it on last time. The camera, I think it's been so long since I turned it on that I had to reset time and time zone and date. That's how long it was. I don't, yeah, whatever. Hi, lovely people. Hope you are well. Uh, just so you know, I just turned on my dishwasher, so, um, that is, if if you can hear it, it's uh, rumbling and so on. That is the, the noise, so you know that. Um, maybe not the smartest move since I knew that I was gonna vlog here and then I turn it on, but anyways, <laughs> here it is. I am here with uh, some tea and uh, I think I owe you a little bit of an explanation. Not maybe an explanation, just kind of telling you what's been going on with my life since we spoke last time. I know it's been a while. So uh, here's some tea and I'm probably gonna spill some tea as well. So uh, for those of you who are not interested in uh, talking videos, this is a vlog. <laughs> yeah, I'm back with vlogs. So you're gonna see what I'm up to today, but um, you know, I'm not doing nails at the moment. I haven't been doing nails on clients since 2020 February so it is what it is but we're gonna do lots of other things if you want to tag around you can do that but it's gonna be uh, lots of talking as well so if you don't like that then yeah don't watch this video <laughs> I'm just gonna leave this two seconds Oops. so where have I been I've had so many people requesting me to start doing vlogs again. And I think, yeah, I need to explain kind of why I disappeared with vlogs. And there are a couple of different reasons. So let's start with the fact that um, I got COVID and I got super sick. And I have been uh, struggling with uh, post-COVID for the past year and two, three months now. That has been hard. And for those of you who don't know what it is like having post-COVID, it's almost like a very light version of ME. So when you use up too much energy, then you kind of pay for it uh, the day after or maybe two days after or sometimes I can pay for it for a week sometimes a month the problem is that I have like um, a little cup of energy that I can use up and if I use up too much then I get punished so this little cup of energy it's very little I have to kind of divide it into different things in my life um, that I have to prioritize. <clears throat> so first off, it was just prioritizing getting better. Uh, it was like going from the couch to the bathroom, using up a little bit of that energy. So it was it was pretty bad. And during that time, it was hard for me to focus on anything else. I, I wasn't able to create any type of content, really. Uh, I had to focus a lot on... Uh, previous web shop and we're going to talk about that as well. It's been a struggle. It's still a struggle, but I'm getting better every day. I'm learning how to prioritize my energy and to divide it up in different sections, but still it's very frustrating because I want to start, you know, getting more physical. Like I want to start exercising. I want to do more yoga, take a walk, whatever. As I mentioned, you know, sometimes it takes like this much to kind of push me off the edge and then I get to pay for it for yeah it could be a day it could be a week or sometimes you know a month and that is kind of what happened to me this summer uh, I used up a little bit too much of my energy in the beginning of the summer and I think also 
a lot of things that had been gathering up for many, many months. I just had kind of, of a tension release. And then, you know, the entire July, we spent it at my family house in the Swedish archipelago. Mm, best time ever, sidetracking, but that summer, this summer has been absolutely fantastic. One of the best summers so far, I think. Uh, we just spend every single day out there in July and we have been swimming. Uh, I have been painting. Me and Kristen have been creating music for Star Cassette. And yeah, it, it's been it's been absolutely fantastic. Memories for life. So I'm super thankful for that. Uh, one thing that helps me with my post-COVID and just in general, I would say when I'm sick or when I'm mentally exhausted is just to spend time in nature and our house is placed like in the middle of the forest like in nature it's close to water you have trees right outside and it's like yeah you're in a forest so i heal so fast when i'm in nature and i think that is something that has helped me a lot as well rewinding back to last year i also I was struggling so much with my migraines uh, that I think it at one point I felt like I'm probably just gonna jump off a cliff right now because I can't take it anymore. One thing that helped me is that I got this new medicine called Imovig. Uh, I've switched it up to another uh, medicine called Ayovi. And it's actually a shot that you take, or injection, shot, not a shot, <laughs> yeah. An injection that you take yourself uh, once every month it seriously changed my life so going from being extremely exhausted with my migraines every single day I mean I had like 20 25 migraine days per month and then I started with uh, this medication and now I'm down to more or less zero could like sometimes but it's it's like when I have the episodes they're like two out of ten or one out of ten it's like nothing so this is one of the things that started to change my life in 2020. I also got the time to launch MyNailAcademy.com, which you have seen probably, hopefully. And that is a product that I have been working on for over three years. So, so, so happy about everything. I'm so happy about the outcome and I could not have imagined uh, the reaction and the response that I got once I launched it, it's been amazing. I've had over a thousand people enrolling into my classes for the past, for the first two months. Uh, I am beyond thankful and I am so happy to be able to help people from like all over the world because I know that you have been asking me for such a long time to come to well your towns and, and countries and cities and whatever. So uh, right now, because of the pandemic, of course, I can't travel. So this is amazing that I have the opportunity to offer my classes uh, this way instead. And I'm so, 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 I have to say it, I am so freaking proud because it is a project that I've been working on for so long. And it is, uh, wow, I have been putting my heart, my soul, blood, sweat and tears into this platform. And it's amazing to see how much you love it as well. And all the response that I have had. By the way, okay, another sidetrack, but I got my hair done yesterday again at the amazing Michael and the hairdressers in the Swedish, Michael and Fusarna. Michael M. <laughs> Michael Oksusarna. And I have been uh, wearing this hairstyle now since January, something like that, because this is actually a part of my transformation. Um, a few moments later. Uh, okay, sorry, my camera overheated. It uh, just shows that uh, it's not used to being used anymore. Well, anyways, uh, I got my hair done. And the reason why I wanted to do that and uh, go with this color and everything is because my inside was not matching my outside anymore. And this is 100% matching my inside right now. So uh, that was part of everything that has happened. And it's such a nice kind of symbol for just me taking charge and taking back 
my life in a way. Yeah, so anyways, I've been working on the platform. I will uh, launch more classes um, later this year as well. I, I also will have more educators on there, which is going to be super exciting. What else? Uh, yeah, uh, we had to close down the web shop for a while, but I am opening up a new web shop this fall uh, and there are gonna be lots of um, products that I think you are going to love. Most of them are going to be uh, actually designed and created kind of by me. A couple of them are on their way from the manufacturer. It's gonna take a while but they're on their way here and um, they're also on the way to my distributors. How cool is that? We're gonna continue to sell Ready Yuana hands, of course, because I love that brand and I love April. She's amazing. So yeah, we're gonna continue with that. Well, when I say we, it's gonna be me, but yeah. This time I own 100% of the shop. So I know that people are gonna ask like, well, what's the difference between your last shop and this shop? Well, the last shop, uh, I wasn't the uh, only owner, but for this shop, I am 100% the owner of yeah the shop, which is fantastic. Can't wait. It's going to be so amazing to create everything and do it like 100% with my vision. So right now with this shop, I am doing my own thing and I can't wait. It's going to be amazing. What else do I got in store? Well, we're starting uh, my podcast with uh, Frida Selkirk. Uh, for those of you in Sweden, we're starting season four soon. So we're going to start recording next week, I think. So that is exciting, of course. And what else? What else? Well, I have something majorly huge, uh, hopefully, coming up in 2022. I cannot wait to get there uh, and launch the whole thing and tell you about it and everything. Wow, it is going to be amazing. So 2022, uh, I think that's going to be the super year for me. Uh, 2021 has been the year of reboot and start over and just kind of preparing my entire life to get going with uh, everything amazing that's coming up. 12 seconds later. Oh, seriously, my camera just <laughs> keeps turning itself off because it's overheating. Oh gosh, okay, I probably have been uh, talking for too long anyways. But that is uh, basically what has happened uh, and that is why I feel like a new person. And I want to mention another thing as well. When I stopped doing my vlogs, um, I wasn't feeling well because of my migraines and then, you know, post-COVID and everything. It was just so much or so many things that was draining my energy and at that time I had quite a lot of comments with people complaining that I was being, you know, like a drama queen or victim or uh, complaining too much or, you know, stuff like that. And the problem for me was that that was my life. I was in pain all the time. Uh, I was getting drained of my energy. So, you know, your vlogs are a reflection of your life. I mean, I am not going to fake it uh, ever. When I am sad, when I am down, when I am, that started to sound like a song, but when I am not feeling like the best me, then you are going to see that. And I just felt because people were complaining that they didn't like the version of me that they got back then, then I just felt like I don't think I should vlog right now because I, I can't help it. I was struggling so much with so many things and um, I just felt like I need to kind of back down a little bit from that part of social media because it's, it's easier to fake a happy life with shorter clips like on TikTok or Reels or, or uh, Instagram posts or 
uh, like videos where I only swatch colors or stuff like that. These are the videos where you're gonna see the, like the real me. Uh, if I'm having a bad day, I'm probably not gonna film. I don't know. I'm kind of like torn in between. I don't know really how I want to continue with this because it seems like people just want to see like happy Selena. And I have bad days, like just like you. I have bad days as well, but it's nothing like it was six months ago or like um, a year ago or something like that. But let's see where this takes us. My life is completely different because I don't do any clients, as mentioned, because of the pandemic. I don't travel because of the pandemic. So what I do is I film stuff, uh, create content. Right now it's been a bunch of TikTok and real stuff. And then I work on my uh, web shop and I work on my education platform. So I don't know if you will find that interesting or not. And basically what I'm doing is that I'm spending my time here at my studio. Let's just try it. If you like it, if you like me, and if you would like to follow me around, then let's tr try it for a while and see what happens. But, but, with a little but, a little but. If I have to focus on my web shop just to get it out there or something that I have to prioritize, then I might disappear for a little while, but then I will come back, okay? The thing is I love creating vlogs and I love talking to you like this. It is, uh, I, I really love it. Let's see if you like them or not. Maybe I don't like them. I like them though. Let's just see. Let's uh, start over and see what happens. And can we just talk about this color before we do anything else? Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? Mm. There you go. Okay. Oh, well, anyways. Uh. Oh, seriously, though, it just keeps shutting off. I have to put it in the fridge to cool it down every single time. Okay, I'm leaving. I'm leaving the kitchen now. Um, so to get back to my hair, I just don't want to leave my hair just yet. Uh, I love this color. And uh, once again, I have to send so much love to Michael and uh, the hairdressers because they're so amazing. I love them so much and they're, mm, Ah, best place ever to get your hair done. So if you are in Stockholm visiting, you have to uh, try them out. They're so amazing. Amazing people, love them. This is the remaining stock from um, Moonflare and also some Ready Bonahans, stuff like that. It's here right now. It's gonna be gone in, uh, well, hopefully very soon. But uh, what else? I'm just gonna give you a quick tour of, um, well, tour, retour of the, the studio since you haven't been here for a while. 